Hey everyone! Welcome to Sam and Fang Cooking. Today I'm making a classic Newfoundland Jigs dinner. Some families eat a version of this every Sunday or for special occasions like Thanksgiving, Easter, and Christmas. So you want to be a Newfie? Bye! First we need salt beef. It's beef that has been cured in a brine. Cut around 2-3 to three pounds in smaller chunks if needed. Cover with cold water and soak overnight. Let's prepare the dressing. It's the second best part after the salt beef. Blend the bread to make fine breadcrumbs. I used a full loaf because I wanted days of leftovers of this stuff. Chop a small onion and a small apple. The apple is optional but I love the flavor it adds. Add to that two tablespoons of summer savory and a quarter cup of melted butter. A little salt and pepper and stir until combined. Stuff the chicken or turkey if that's what you're using with the dressing until full. My chicken came with the string so I just tied the legs back up. Season the chicken with salt, pepper and savory and put inside a roasting pan. Don't forget to season both sides. Cut an onion and add it to the roasting pan along with one cup of water. And put the cover on. We're going to cook the rest of the dressing together with the chicken. So get a piece of tin foil and add it on top. Fold over the sides making sure it's all sealed. Cook the chicken at 350 Fahrenheit for around 30 minutes with the lid on. Add one and a half cups of split peas to a peas pudding bag. If you don't have one, you can use cheesecloth. Drain the salt beef and add to a large pot. I use two because I don't have a really big one. Tie the peas pudding bag onto the handle and cover the pot full with water. Bring to a boil and reduce to a simmer. We'll be simmering this for two hours. Skim off the white foam as it comes. After 30 minutes of the chicken cooking, remove the cover and cook for another 30 minutes to an hour depending on the size. Now onto prepping the vegetables. This can easily be done the day before or while the salt beef is cooking. I'm using parsnips, carrots, potato, cabbage, and rutabaga, which we call turnip, but technically it's rutabaga. I'm peeling and roughly chopping each vegetable. Not too big, but definitely not too small. My chicken is done. Your thermometer should read 165 Fahrenheit if you want to be sure. And don't forget the dressing we put in. When it's cooled down a little, take out the dressing from the chicken and add it to a large bowl, along with the dressing from the foil packs. After two hours, remove the peas pudding bag. We'll deal with that when it's cooled a bit. Now add the vegetables, starting with the cabbage and turnip, because they take the longest to cook. Add more water to the pot when needed at any time. Turn the peas pudding bag inside out and drop it into a bowl. Add a couple tablespoons of butter and pepper to taste. After 20 minutes of the cabbage and turnip cooking, add the carrot, parsnip and potato. Cook for another 20-30 minutes or until all the vegetables are fork tender. Now we're making the gravy. Put the roasting pan directly over the burner and turn to medium heat. Add some of the pot liquor if there's not enough chicken drippings. Mix together around quarter cup of flour and one cup of water. When the stock is heated up, add the roux while stirring until you reach your desired thickness. I like mine on the thinner side. And there's your Jigs dinner. There's a lot of steps to this meal, but once everything is prepped, it's fast to put together. 
It's mostly about getting the timing right if you want everything hot and ready at the same time. It's common to serve pickled beets and or mustard pickles with this. And like I said, the salt beef is the best part. I'm obsessed and addicted to this stuff. I've never met anyone that doesn't like it. And the flavor it adds to the vegetables is unreal. I also want to mention that some families make a blueberry pudding called blueberry duff or figgy duff which has raisins instead of blueberries. I haven't made this yet so next time I want to try it. It looks so good. And some people make dumplings right in the pot too. We call those dough boys. If you're new to Jake's dinner, I hope you found this video helpful. Every Newfoundlander grew up eating this meal and continues to do so as it's tradition and delicious. Thanks for watching. Bye. Like and subscribe, please.